What's up guys, Johnny Buck here from Catch Wrestling with Ninja with uh, my training partner Brian Ashland. So today we're going to go over a hammer lock from uh, Catch Wrestling. So you see it in Jiu Jitsu as well. So real quick mechanics, I, Brian's, you know, from a wrestling background, like a pure school wrestling, you can't come up because it's bad. You can't come off the mat because it's bad. It's bad for the shoulder, which makes sense in wrestling. But we're in Catch or Jiu Jitsu or some kind of submission art. We can do all these things and we're going to do all these things. So the basic principle of this is we're getting a good grip on his wrist, isolating his shoulder, coming up and off his mat, off his back. Sucks, but that's what we're looking for. So go ahead and flip over. So right here, your basic double wrist lock, your basic Kimura, depending on your background, okay? Good side control. We've got wrist control here, okay? I like grabbing here by the wrist. I have some hand control for the wrist lock. I'm not a big fan. There's so many more moving parts. Um, I don't like being up this high either. So I like putting this little hook grip right in that ball of their thing, um, the wrist, and I can also put all my weight on his hand, okay? So right here, for whatever reason, we just can't finish our double wrist lock, we're, we're missing it, or, or something's just not going our, our way. So what I'll do is, I'll take this, go ahead and zoom in on my hands for this, all right? I'll, I'll take this grip, it's not great, he's taller than me, so I'm, all I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna keep pressure on his hand, I'm gonna switch to here, all right? Very simple, I slide back, I go chest to chest, this hand comes under his butt. Right, I'm not grabbing anything, just posting. I pull up and give the tap. All right, if he's flexible, I'm gonna loose a little bit of slack here. I'm going to extend this. So imagine this is up here and we extend. Very, very easy to wave, finish this hammer lock on a failed uh, double wrist lock or more attempt. So right here, same thing, we can't hit it. We switch, full grip here. I don't care how, if you get your thumb on it's fine. You don't really have to for this because a pure pulling motion. And Brian can't extend his arm, like, so I don't need that full grip. If he extends his arm, that's fine. I kind of extend there. From a guard's perspective, um, if you're hitting your, your double wrist lock or your Kimura from here, right, boom, you're coming up, okay, and you just can't finish it, it's not the end of the world. We're gonna take this and we're gonna extend. Very, very simple, all right? It's, it's just for guys, if you, you just can't get your hips offset, whatnot, just extend, okay, same principle. We're going here, and if we're real me, we're pulling here. So that's your basic catch wrestling hammer lock. If you like that, go ahead and click the link below. If it's catchwrestling.ninja, it's my website. I've got a ton more stuff on there. A lot of stuff from wrestling base that can make your uh, your if you're doing jujitsu a little more brutal, a little more violent, a little more aggressive. Um, but if you are catch wrestling background, obviously it's one of the best resources there are. So appreciate you watch. Appreciate you guys watching this video. I'll catch you in the next one.